Well, this is Spain's first coalition government since the restoration of democracy in 1978. Uh, Pedro Sánchez will remain Spanish Prime Minister and the Socialist Party will govern the country with the leftist Unidas Podemos. The new government plan has been described as socially patriotic and includes taxing large corporations and the rich, as well as protecting public pensions. On the constitutional issue, and especially on the Catalan crisis, there will be changes. The abstention of the pro-independence Catalan Republican left, which is the ideological equivalent of the SNP, has been crucial to form the new government. The Catalans and the Socialists have reached an agreement to create a bilateral table for dialogue, negotiations and an agreement to resolve the political conflict in Catalonia. And the resulting agreements will be submitted to Catalan citizens in a consultation. However, uh, reaching an agreement won't be easy because the Socialists have always opposed an independence referendum and the leader of the Catalan Republican left is in jail alongside other party figures. Middle ground solutions could revolve around protecting or perhaps enhancing Catalonia's self-rule, maybe even committing to revising the Catalan Statute of Autonomy. The Catalan Republican left will be under pressure from other pro-independence parties to keep the self-determination demand on the table, and the Socialists will also be under pressure from the radicalized right-wing opposition, which includes the far-right Vox. Uh, right-wing parties in Spain compete with each other on the territorial issue, with a strong discourse denouncing concessions to the separatists and betrayals to the nation. So, we finally have a new government in Spain, after two general elections in 2019 and a long period of interim governments, on Catalonia, we should expect meaningful negotiations and a de-escalation of the conflict. But this could also be a bumpy term for a very fragile minority government in a fragmented and polarized party system. The Socialists and Podemos will need the support or, or at least the strategic abstention of several smaller parties, including Catalan, Basque and Galician nationalists.